Hey guys, welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. My name is ANSC, and I've got a very special game here for you today. It's gonna be Bisu spawning here in the top left hand corner. Fantasy over in the top right. Uh, yesterday I did a fantasy game, and I said in that game that I had a Jadong versus Fantasy series that I was gonna be casting, but I was mistaken. I apologize, guys. It was actually Bisu. And spoiler alert, there's one game that I have I'm going to watch after this. It's actually Bisu playing Zerg versus Fantasy. So that's where the confusion came from. I remembered it was a Zerg. I thought it was Jadong, but it was actually Bisu on Zerg. So we're going to be watching this game PVT. And what map is this? It's going to be on Vermeer. So PVT on Vermeer, and then we're going to have uh, Bisu off racing as Zerg versus Fantasy. Very excited to see this guy back. Uh, playing Brood War. Hope that he is back for good. And that we'll see him in the future. Playing in some ASL. Maybe even joining the KCM. That would be very exciting. I recently announced that there is a new map pool for the ASL. Of course, every year they change up the maps. And what is this? Wait a second, Bisu, hold on. Forge. Forge here for Bisu. So instead of going two gateways, I actually dropped a second forge. And look at this, an SCV pull from Fantasy. He's gonna be trying to bunker rush this Nexus first. And one cannon starts here. As long as this cannon finishes, he should be able to hold. Bunch of probes are being pulled. Looks like he's gonna meet these Marines here in the middle. The first Zealot is out. He blocks the bunker. Does not allow that to go down, but Fanny's gonna, Fantasy is gonna continue with this push. Let's see what kind of damage he can get done here. The cannon is getting very, very close. Zealot is getting low. Probes coming from the left-hand side will snag one of those Marines, and as that cannon finishes up, the Zealots will retreat, and this has been held. Very nicely done by Bizu. an interesting play. He got that scout last. You can see he scouted here first, then here, and then he finally went to here. So he scouted that the very last possible moment and actually added on that forge, maybe predicting what Fantasy's reaction would be to this Nexus first. And holds on really, really nicely there. Not even losing a single Zealot. I think he might have lost maybe a probe or two, but the Zealots all stay alive. And I don't think that this is over. Look at this, Fantasy still producing Marines back at home. He's also getting Siege Mode and no natural base just yet. A probe is out on the map. Gonna be trying to scout out what's going on here. It's just barely going to miss this push out. Looks like it saw, caught the end, the tail end of that Marine. But this Marine here, gonna block the scout looks like. Yeah, just gets right in front of it there. Will prevent that from getting in. Second tank is out now. Here we go, heading up towards this natural. Looks like the boys are gonna have to be pulled here. Bisu bringing all the probes forward. Marines are running back. Tank here heading southwards. This is getting uh, cut off, and the zealots are getting on top of the marines, so that's not good. Oh god, he might get trapped here. Very, very close to a trap. Looks like one zealot, two zealots actually going on that left side. Oh, he gets it. He gets it. Beautifully done. Trapped against the wall. Almost manages to escape, but looks like it did get picked off. Looks like a dragoon gonna fall as well. So trading one Dragoon and a lot of lost mining time for these probes for just the one tank. Now I'm gonna be able to set up here and start to shell this cannon. Two cannons have actually been produced. He's really intent on holding this with the cannons and the Dragoons that are now popping out. Three gateways are finished now. He's gonna be making a bunker here. This bunker is crucial. Uh-oh, cannon hitting that poor, poor SCV. It's like he juked out the wrong direction. Probes are chasing down a tank here out in the middle of the map. And uh, has yet to join up here, but 
The moment that he sees an opportunity, the bunker's not quite finished yet. He's gonna dive on top of this, picks off the tank, and the bunker will complete, but no more tanks here. Oh, runs right by and gets the second tank as well. Beautiful moves by Bisu. The roaming probes here in the middle of the map, kind of hilarious. Trying to body block, trying to prevent more damage from coming down. Looks like the bunker going to fall here pretty soon. Not able to keep that alive. Tank heading across with a vulture, but the command center is now on the way. Maybe he can pick up these probes which are heading backwards across the map. Looks like he is gonna find them. He will get a couple of probe kills at least. Constellation prize here for not being able to break Bisu in the early game. Still gonna be a rough position though for fantasy from here. I have a very hard time bringing this one back. Although, look at that. Really? 26 SCVs to 25 probes. So actually enough maybe damage was done to Bisu's economy here to actually even things out. That is crazy to me. Really, really wild start to this game, guys. And you expect no less from the terrorist. This man is wild with his Terran units. Doing all kinds of crazy strategies. Very aggressive, wild plays from him. Wouldn't be surprised to see drop play this game as well. He is famous for that drop play. Getting some mines over here in the center left. Triple factory. Over on Bisu's side of the map. Robotics facility. Robotic support bay. No, observatory coming down. So we've got the triple gateway and one or observatory is coming out. We will have OBS here shortly. Well, all of these have a couple of kills at least. It's impressive. Vultures out on the map. You still gotta be careful here as BC. You do not want to be walking to mines out in the middle of the map. Vulture's gonna come up here. Finding the location of these dragoons. Mines being laid all over the place here, and a few tanks moving forward. Three tanks here are gonna come up to high ground. This is a fantasy push if I've ever seen one, boys. Three tanks and a group of vultures. He's just gonna go for it, looks like. That's quite a lot of dragoons, so you have to be very careful here. Good micro so far by fantasy, just dropping the mines, making sure that the dragoons can't advance on this position, but there's more dragoons, more zealots here now. This three tanks, are looking to be in a bit of trouble here. Does have to back away. A few kills on those Dragoons were pretty good. Tank's gonna be backing away. Vulture's laying down mines to defend here. Tank's setting up on high ground. Great splash damage there on a bunch of those Dragoons. Almost picking off these other two as well. 3 HP and 17 HP. Bringing those very, very low on that health. Third base not yet set down here for Bisu, so Fantasy's done a fantastic job of slowing him down and uh, keeping him just here on two bases for this long. And guys, I gotta remind you, Bisu is absolutely on the top of his game, the pinnacle of the sport right now. Crushing in KCM as of late, crushing in these ladder matches that I've been showing off. And Fantasy is giving him a serious run for his money with a very, very aggressive style. And it looks like he's going to take an aggressive third base as well, dropping that just moments after the third year of Bisu. Incredible stuff. I'm loving it. I'm loving that Fantasy's back right now. Guys, if you love Fantasy and you can't wait to see more from him, Make sure to hit that like button right now. Let your voices be heard. Here we go. Fantasy grabbing that third base. He's got his armories on the way. Where are they? There it is. Upgrade is coming now. It is a relatively late upgrade, but there's been a ton of action this game. Heading up here towards this third. We've got DTs in a shuttle. DTs for a drop. Gonna be sent out here, and I don't see an uh, academy. So all he's gonna be able to do is defend with missile turrets. That is a dangerous game indeed. I think you can slip through here as Bisu. Well, it looks like he will be pushed back for now. 
A little Dragoon Force here on the left side. Turrets are set up pretty nicely around this formation here from Fantasy. Trying to slip in, catch some probes that are being transferred. Looks like he was just moments too soon. Flying in here. Gotta be careful of this turret. Oh god, Bisu. Bisu, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Tragedy. Tragedy strikes here. Two D Dark Templar in his shuttle picked off. And it's not like he didn't know this was here. Look at this. He knows. It's right there. That's so unfortunate. Looks like Fantasy finally managing to find a way in. Jumping on top of these probes. I gotta say, I, I, th I think I said this last game as well. But, uh, very, very sharp-esque Fantasy's gameplay. The way that he moves his vultures around, the way he's always looking for opportunities, and uh, constantly jumping on the Protoss whenever he can to try and get value, to try and slow them down. Very, very good stuff. Love to see it. Fantasy laying down mines aggressively once again, bringing the vultures here to the front, looking for potential pickups, potential kills on this mineral line. He's going to go for the probes here. Good pull away, though, by Bisu. Looks like he won't be getting any kills in this location. Could have targeted down this probe, but just going to lose those vultures instead. It's fine, though. He's adding on a lot more factories. Do we have Starport? There it is. Starport finishing up here. It's a little late. You do want to get that Starport uh, so about halfway through the upgrade so that you can get your science facility finished so that you can start your plus two uh, right on time. But this is going to be pretty close. The upgrade is just about to finish and the science facility is started. So it's not going to be that far delayed. Throwing down some mines in the main base. He's getting prepared for any sort of drop play. Any sort of recalls here. And what do we have from Bisu? Indeed, a recall maybe on the way. No, for now, just Stasis Field. Getting into that fourth base here. But honestly, I'm feeling Fantasy's position here. The fourth base, quite a bit later than you would usually see it. And the third has been up for a while now. Already Fantasy up to 124 supply be boosting ahead here shortly bumping up that supply further and further as time goes on getting ready and prepared for that big push across the map it'll be up to bisu to land the great uh, abilities here with the arbiter in order to shut down that push looks like he lost a couple of dragoons in the middle of the map unfortunately probe heading down here to the bottom left looking to take a fifth and Seeing that that's going down, he did have some vultures down here, or, or mines, I'm not sure which one, but he saw that he was pushing towards here, and he's going to send a vulture around to try and confirm that. And seeing that the fifth base is going down, that might trigger a push here from Fantasy. I'd love to see him push this direction, take this high ground, take this base, and then send small pushing forces up towards here, try to take out that location, don't overcommit, uh, don't try to chase the army too hard um oh my god bisu what are you doing my man i keep talking you up but you can't be making mistakes like that where's the observer there it is over there losing quite a few goons to random mines on the map this game definitely not living up to the expectations my sky high expectations after that previous kcm Hard to uh, hard to live up to those, but we do expect the best here uh, out of Bisu. Now that he's done that, now that he's gotten those uh, insane upsets, those insane kills. What is this? What is going on here? What am I looking at? We've got three probes just sitting here, not mining. Um, that's fine, but this looks like he was attacking something, and then he just forgot to send him back to mining. This one especially, it's already it's been mining, but now it's not. Um, in general, this is not enough probes. We need to send some probes. Mineral smoothing is not the best here from BC right now. There's a few too many probes here and not enough at this location. But he's managed to max out. <coughs> Has 67 probes. And it's going to start to push forward here. We have EMP on the way. But the units are so stacked. Maybe he can get in here with a super good 
Stasis, he loses the Arbiter though, uh-oh. And then pushing in here, this is still a lot of stuff, man. I don't think he can push that. And Barrick, this Barrick's eating so much damage. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Bisu, are you gonna lose every Dragoon here or what? All right, we're just gonna let every Dragoon die now. That, uh... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, guys. That was, uh... That was something else. That was special. We have another stasis here on the field, but I think Bisu just made this game incredibly hard for himself. Is this like a bugged replay or something? What am I looking at? We have a lot of money in the bank here. Are we even producing anything? We are producing. Are we producing anything? We are. Okay, this this is this is a bugged replay. Something something went wrong here, guys. I'm gonna have to check this out. I'll get right back to you. All right, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. I guess it was truly a bugged replay. Look at this. It looks much much better. Plenty of stuff in production. We've got legs. We got recall coming up here. There's where a few uh, dragoons went down in the middle of the map. Hopefully this replay doesn't bug again. Got the base being taken here in the bottom left. That fifth base, of course. And... Yeah, we're going to be pumping out uh, recall. We're going to get some more Arbiters going here. A lot of Vultures heading down to the bottom right. And we have a dropship on the way. Dropship going to pop out here. Load up. We'll see what Fantasy decides to do with this. Looks like a double tank drop. So he's going to send the tank drop all the way around the map. Unfortunately, it's going to fly right past this observer, I think. Um, it's going to fly all the way around the map. He's going to try and drop it up here and potentially take out this base while Vultures uh, set up mines in order to defend that. Oh, God. It's going to get in there, it looks like. Yeah, see, this didn't connect. This is right where the replay bugged, I think, is when these uh, walked into a mine. That's not something the bees would do. Um, <clears throat> we've got vultures down here in the bottom left. Looks like they're all going to get cleaned up. That's unfortunate for uh, Fantasy. He's going to send more vultures to help out, but he can't really drop these tanks right now. Uh, he needs to get a position with mines. You know, what he'd like is for the dragoons to be out here, and then he puts mines here, and then he drops the tanks over here. You can kill this, and any dragons coming up this ramp are going to get shelled as well. Um, alternatively, he could drop back here and just try to kill the Nexus. He's going to try it now. Oh, he's looking for probes. He's looking for probes. Here's a lot of probes coming through the uh, bottom left. He's going to drop the tank. Two tanks here. Probes are going to dive on top of them. So actually taking quite a bit of damage from Splash. And the probes are a little bit too close, unfortunately. So those two tanks aren't really going to get the damage they were looking for. Here comes Bisu now towards the natural. A little bit of a late siege, but it is going to be in time. Dropping Zealots on top of this. <laughs> oh, man. He got his own uh, shuttle there with the stasis. But a lot of tanks in this stasis. Looks like the barracks actually died from so much damage going down on it and the dragoons are getting eaten alive oh my god it seems like he's gonna kill a few more tanks here but was this really worth it finally backing away man i really feel like this position screwed up bisu's attack so badly he had so many units right here all jumbled up on top of each other if only he had ran some of them around the side maybe take all the zealots and bring them in from another angle just so unfortunate there. Lost so many units and he could have done a lot more damage. Now, even on supply, Bisu has the space in the bottom left, but a group of vultures is making their way down here and they might be able to deal some significant damage. Zealot's on the ramp, but that's not going to be good enough to stop these vultures. Looks like he's going to make a pylon wall as well, just to buy time. Makes sense here. Tank. Double tank drop once again. Oh my god. Fantasy goes for it twice in a row. And this is actually the setup that I was talking about earlier, right? We've got the tanks. We've got the mines here. And his tanks are going to siege up on that high ground. He's going to kill the 
uh, cannon, and now the vultures can go to work. Kill all of these probes and clear that out. Very nicely done here by Fantasy. Well executed tank drop. Uh, after that failed one the first time, making up for it completely, shutting down this fifth base mining, and really slowing down the economy here for Bisu. 51 probes to 58 SCVs, and meanwhile, Fantasy gonna go ahead and take his own fourth. Also pushing forward here, he knows the majority of the army is down here in the bottom left, dealing with that attack, and Fantasy so smart gonna go ahead and just push immediately across the map get a good position he hasn't had to inch forward at all he's moved his entire army to this ledge here and a siege up here and do exactly what i was saying earlier beautiful beautiful stuff i'm gonna go ahead and start to hit this with just a few tanks while the remainder stay here and guard this position the only thing he didn't do that I mentioned earlier was take this base instead of opting to take the base here in the center right. That's fine. Looks like Beast is not ready to counterattack that yet. Uh, and Fantasy looks like he's mobile enough to move his entire army in that direction to deal with that as well. More vultures coming down here to the bottom left, but there's two cannons. They should be able to hold that. And the entire army of Beast is coming down here once again. What is going on? Whole army. Heading down to the bottom left. We're not producing anything. Once again, where where are all the units? Where are all the units? Guys, are we seriously bugged again? Is that a thing? We're, we're actually supply blocked right now. And Storm is now coming up. So I guess he couldn't produce anything. Maybe? We're 2-1 upgrades to 2-1. So even on the upgrades, BC for getting a rally point here. That's fine. Um, double, uh, oh my God, double arbiter. He's already got three. Here's a big recall and onto this uh, fourth base. It's gonna get shut down pretty hard. Mines there doing a lot of the heavy lifting, getting rid of a ton of these zealots and he's pulled away the uh, command center immediately. Oh, trying to block, trying to block this entrance with the Arbiter uh, Stasis. Looks like he's not gonna be able to, to block that from getting back, but he might be able to pick off this Command Center. 100 HP, 50, 30, oh my God, he gets it. Huge, huge kill there. Because let's take a look at Fantasy's mining. He is very, very low on minerals at both of these bases. The mi main is mined out now. So Fantasy actually in a rough position now crazy how one recall can change the entire game isn't it that is wild stuff really truly another recall gonna come in here towards the main he might actually get on top of this oh big mine connections once again mines doing so much work for fantasy uh, in each of these recalls but maybe not enough this is already done so we don't really need these armories anymore we're just gonna go straight across the map nice storms on some of these vultures Fantasy just gonna go directly here to the natural. Two more Arbiters heading across the map. Scary. Scary with this many Arbiters out. Has a lot of spells to work with. He's also gonna get the Dark Templar out on the field. Try to shut down these attacks with those DTs. Tanks here on the center left gonna deal with that Nexus. I don't know who comes out on top of this. This is kind of crazy, guys. Center right is gonna be mining here shortly, but more Arbiter is gonna block the ramp. Blocking the ramp, not allowing any more units to come out of here. He's gonna be able to kill this command center and these two armories, so no more Goliaths for the time being. DTs are popping out, but yeah, we have science vessels here, so that's not gonna do too much. Arbiter down here in the bottom left. Getting up here into the main. He does another recall. He's clearing out the main. The main is being killed right now. The main base of Bisu is still fine. Where does Fantasy go with his army? Looks like he has to head back home. Oh no, this is a very difficult decision right now. Do you head back home and save the main or do you just uh, go for the main of your opponent try to win the game right here right now? Looks like he's gonna split his forces. Some of them heading down to the bottom left, some of them heading home. I don't know if this is the right choice. He's left the natural undefended. And Bisu can actually get his forces out onto the map now. 
Coming up here into the main base. Looks like a lot of these factories are getting low. Been taking damage for quite some time. No energy on either of these Arbiters, so he can't delay this any further. The tanks will eventually get up here and clear this out. He's going to kill as many of these supply depots as he can. Tanks setting up here in the bottom left. Looks like we have almost the energy for a recall here, but I think he's going to lose this Nexus. Oh, nice stasis to keep the Nexus alive just a little bit longer. But the delaying the inevitable a bit here, I have to feel. Looks like going to try and pick off this Science Vessel. He's done a good job of killing off a lot of these Comsats. There's only one Comsat. We don't have many uh, Science Vessels. We lose that one. We got two Science Vessels over here. A recall down into the bottom left. Looks like he might be able to save this base. That's still quite a few tanks left over in that big mine. It's going to soften up all these Zealots. So it looks like just barely Fantasy will be able to stop this. Oh god, this game is so close right now. Oh, Bisu taps out. Wow, Fantasy takes that away. Just barely managing to steal that win. Wow, just nutty, nutty game here between these two legends. I really thought that Bisu was going to be able to clear out the main, but not able to save this bottom left means that he's going to lose all of his mining. He did have this base here, but if he was somehow able to save this one, I could see that uh, with this mining and this mining here, he could probably keep producing and eventually clear out this army, but it was still a pretty big army uh, overall for Fantasy and Bisu. Not able to save that mining, taps out, and this game goes to Fantasy. Incredible. Quite the roller coaster of a game, that last one. From the recalls and stasis. That crazy push in the early game. And uh, even the replay bugging out in the middle. A lot of ups and downs there, but now we're going to do something a little bit different, as promised. Bisu here, spawning in the bottom left as the Zerg player. His opponent in the bottom right, Fantasy, exchanging highs. I don't know how much English either of them speak, but they're both on barcodes. Maybe they're faking each other out, pretending that they're, you know, American or something. English speakers. I really don't know what the mind game is there. Just typing hi. Um... I'm assuming that they don't actually know who each other are at this point. This is right at the early time when Fantasy was first coming back, maybe before his identity was confirmed on this account. It has since been confirmed uh, by Snow. Uh, I'll put a link in the description because I always get comments from people asking me about the validity of who these players are as though I, j I would just be someone who would, you know, make up Oh, this is Bisu. Here's a Bisu replay, and it's just like some other random player. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, guys, like relax. But uh, I will provide that uh, source just so that we can lay that at least for this game to rest. I can't do that every game, guys. It's just wasting my time, honestly. But um, <laughs> just caster problems, okay? Don't mind me. We're getting into this game. We've got the wall in at the front. I'm going to be putting a supply depot here in the middle. It looks like a perfect wall for uh, Fantasy. I'm assuming that he actually knew that this was Zerg uh, going into this. Because otherwise, I don't think you would put this wall here. Also, we'd have a gas on the way, most likely. Um, it's pretty much the only way to play against random. Uh, if Bisu was playing random, is that you'd have to, you kind of have to go gas in the early game as uh, Terran. It's, uh, I mean, I guess you can go uh, gasless fast expand with a bunker, but it seems risky. Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to say. I don't, I'm not really the expert on T Terran versus random, but I feel like you want to go gas uh, in the early game. So we'll assume that this was, uh, from the start, 
uh, known by fantasy that he was going up against a Zerg. He's got this wall in here. He's got the fast command center. He's got two Marines on the map. He's actually going to walk across here. Okay, he sees everything in the main. He sees that there's only two Lings, but two Lings barely loses to two Marines. But <laughs> By the way, maybe he's looking for an Overlord. There's the Overlord right there. I think it actually saw these Marines moving out. So definitely not going to end up working out here. Whatever uh, Fantasy was thinking about doing. And ah, Fantasy putting down a factory. Are we going to see mech here out of Fantasy? That would be interesting. Now, we haven't seen any Fantasy versus Zerg games yet. And it's kind of cool to see him going for a mech build in one of these early games. I wonder if this is something he's identified as very p powerful now in the current meta. This guy is a very smart player, by the way. I want to mention this. He is... Uh, incredibly good at Brood War in his day, or he was incredibly good at Brood War in his day. Uh, he's been at the very top level of StarCraft 2. Uh, he is also a League of Legends coach as well, so he's intimately familiar with uh, the pro scene uh, in multiple uh, esports and you know, that means like metagaming, think, finding, building strategies, figuring out how to uh, practice effectively. All these are in his wheelhouse. These are all skills that he has honed uh, over years and years. A lustrous, long career in esports. So, you know, we got to watch this guy carefully, not only uh, for, you know, winning the ASL or whatever, but for developing new strategies, for figuring out new builds, new ways to play the game, this is a man to watch out for. Third base is on the way here. Looks like Bisu wanting to clear out these assimilators as soon as possible. One Ling at the front, rest of the Lings are clearing assimilators. I like this. I like this a lot. I feel like... Uh, not enough pro players do this. Getting rid of assimilators early on in the game when you have that map control. Incredibly powerful uh, at keeping you, you alive in the mid and late game. It's like this lane kind of wasting its time. He really should head up here maybe and start killing this. Um, or start killing the eggs here. Takes a long time with lings, but if you put one or two lings on that and just leave it, eventually it will get done. Uh, this sling, I don't know how that happened. What the heck? Okay, so let me explain this quickly here, because uh, these mutas are going to go in. When the assimilator dies, or when the, yeah, when the Protoss building dies, it turns into a uh, Vespian Geyser. And the Vespian Geyser is actually larger than the assimilator, and that's why when it's killed, and when both of these are killed, nothing can fit through here except for a ghost. Um, when they're both built, everything can fit through there. So it actually becomes a larger structure, the Vespian Geyser. So when that Ling was attacking the Assimilator and when the Assimilator died, it became a larger structure. And the Ling was then on top of that structure because of the position that it was standing in when it was attacking the uh, Assimilator. And therefore it bugged out and for whatever reason it headed north uh, over these eggs rather than just moving to the right hand side. and hopped over onto the other side. Pretty hilarious, actually. You don't expect to see that kind of thing. Like, nobody's hopping uh, units over intentionally by killing assimilators. That's uh, really a one in a million uh, situation. Like a, I don't know, Goldilocks situation. I don't, I don't know what I would, what the adjective I would use to describe that, but a very niche situation there indeed and we've got armor coming up here on the way with a hive for bisu lurker upgrade is done four lurkers here at the natural bisu just was just sending these mutilists around he doesn't really seem interested in taking fights uh, with the uh, terran here there are two valkyries so He's decided to just back off. He's, you know, we're just going to keep these as a utility tool. Maybe for preventing drops in the future. Uh, 
maybe for harassing expansions over here or whatever maybe if the uh valkyries end up getting picked off then maybe we can use them uh, somewhere else all of these are options here right now for bisu but for now these are just going to be on patrol duty near and around the main base fantasy moving out on the map with a tank push right now but he's got to be very careful he's only got two scans just two scans and there could be burrowed lurkers anywhere between his space and his opponent's base so he's got to be very careful look at that he's been moving along and just scanning move a little bit scan again move a little bit scan again each and every time now he's finally scanned all of these locations he's gonna get up here in towards the natural now here comes the tank push tanks sieging up here right in front of the base he's spent a lot of scans to get up here so if the uh lurkers do unburrow and run up on this it's not a good idea to unburrow right now because we got four stacked which means they are all going to bug out when they finally do pop up um but he doesn't have a scan right now to actually hit these so he can't actually attack right now he's waiting for that scan and if the scan runs out um and he doesn't break all of the lurkers within that time he is not gonna be able to break this base moving forward here's the scan gonna come up try to kill the uh tank here taking a lot of damage on these mutas scan finishes another scan does come down but there's four lurkers here i don't think he can break this fantasy trying to get through will kill quite a few of these mutas and he also damaged a lot of the lurkers but i think bisu's held on just barely long enough here to where he's going to be able to consume and throw down a dark swarm it was very very close but the consume is now done oh uh, there it is it's done now consume goes down dark swarm will come two lurkers run forward and we have held looks like a drop over here on the center right going after the nidus just barely doesn't get it oh my god 43 look at two marines didn't move oh if those two marines were in this fight i think this nidus dies actually that is super frustrating very very close hold here overall though for bisu bisu now getting into uh plague plague on the way here and gonna drop and push kills off the nidus unfortunately for bisu he didn't place the nidus in a location that can't, can't be hit by tanks across this gap and units are gonna flow over here he doesn't have this killed i think oh man this is bad and knight is gonna come up here where is it connecting to looks like right there but he's gonna try and run out and there's actually mines here already oh mine connection on the defiler and a fantasy takes him down very cool stuff here fantasy bringing a, a super interesting style here not going for the uh science vessels at all to start with and just utilizing uh scan only to move forward put on that massive pressure right before the defilers are done and then rotate here to the third base and clear that out wow really really cool stuff um that looked incredibly strong and B uh i mean bisu did everything that he could to hold on there he managed to shut down the drop uh unfortunately the nidus positioning was such that he wouldn't be able to get things through i think if the nidus had been here originally he could have popped through some lurkers and a, a dark storm and actually saved this base but that was a lot of pressure fantasy just putting it on him and takes down bisu two times on the ladder guys that is it all that i have for you today hope you enjoyed this video here a little bit unorthodox a little different than what i usually do but uh, fantasy is back he deserves our attention
I'm going to be bringing you more great games from the ladder each and every day. It's going to be KCM coming up here week number two as well. That's going to be coming out this week. We're also looking at doing Pro League, guys. So plenty of great Brutal War content coming to you very soon, guys. This has been your daily dose of Brood War. I'll see you guys tomorrow.